Welcome to Electron Line. Who's that? Okay. Welcome to Electron Line. In this example, we're going to use a very special technique. So you'll see in just a moment how that works. But again, we're trying to find the solution to this first order differential equation. We again using the separation of variables, but take a look and see how we do something like this. So first of all, we'll write y prime as dy dx is equal to 1 plus y squared. And then, of course, we're going to separate the variables. We want all the x's on one side, all the y's on the other side. So this becomes dy over 1 plus y squared is equal to dx. And then we go ahead and integrate both sides. Now, the right side is easy to integrate, but how do you integrate the left side? Well, either you memorize that verbatim, or you can say, well, I can make a trick substitution. I can say that uh, y is equal to the tangent of theta in such way that theta is equal to the arc tangent of y. All right. Now, if we do that, we look at 1 plus y squared. Let's use our trigonometric uh, replacement here. So we have 1 plus y squared then becomes 1 plus the tangent squared of theta. Now, of course, the tangent square of theta is the sine square of theta divided by the cosine square of theta. So this can be written as 1 plus the sine square of theta divided by the cosine square of theta. And now writing this over the common denominator, this becomes the cosine square of theta plus the sine square of theta, all divided by the cosine square of theta. Remember, when you divide this into that, you get the 1 again. It's always a good idea to check that. Now, of course, the numerator, that's uh, a familiar identity. The cosine square of theta plus the sine square of theta is equal to 1. So this is equal to 1 over the cosine square of theta, which is equal to the secant square of theta. So 1 plus y squared, which can be written as 1 plus the tangent square of theta, can be written as a secant square of theta. So this can now be written as follows. So this is equal to over the secant square of theta is equal to the integral of dx. Now, I didn't write the numerator yet because now we need to find a substitution for dy. Well, if y is equal to the tangent of theta, what is dy d theta? So over here, I can go from there to dy d theta is equal to the derivative with respect to theta of tangent of theta. Of course, tangent of theta would be the sine of theta divided by the cosine of theta. All right, so that's a quotient rule. So let's go ahead and find the derivative of that. So this is equal to the denominator, cosine of theta, times the derivative of the numerator, which is a cosine of theta, minus the numerator, which is a sine of theta, times the derivative of the denominator, which is minus sine of theta, all divided by the denominator squared, which is cosine of theta squared. Of course, this minus times this minus makes that a plus, so this can be written as a cosine square of theta plus the sine square of theta divided by the cosine square of theta. That's beginning to look familiar. This is equal to 1 over the cosine square of theta, which is equal to the secant square of theta. So dy d theta is equal to the secant square of theta, which means that dy is equal to the secant square of theta times d theta. And I can make this substitution for the numerator. So this becomes the secant square of theta times d theta. The secant squares cancel out, and I end up with the integral of d theta equals the integral of dx. Wow, that's a whole lot simpler than what we had up there. Now that's easy to integrate. The integral of that would be theta equals x, and of course we have a constant of integration. Let's just call it c sub 1 in case I need to change it. All right, now theta, remember going back up here, can be written as the arctangent or the inverse tangent of y. So this can then be written as the inverse tangent of y, the inverse tangent of y is equal to x plus c1. And of course, then I can take the tangent of both sides because the tangent of the inverse tangent of y simply gives me y. So take the tangent of both sides. So it gives me y is equal to the tangent of x plus c. And I didn't have to transform the, the constants. I could just leave that as just any old constant, and here is the solution to our differential equation that we had over here. So the special technique is we come to this point, and this is kind of a, a, a typical type of integral. We have dy or dx over 1 plus y squared or 1 over x squared. Whenever you have that, 
you use a trig identity where you have y equals a tangent of theta, then you solve that, you simplify that, you get secant squared, the dy becomes secant squared d theta, secant squares cancel out, and that becomes a very easy integral. So something to remember when you run into something like that. And that's how we do that.